welcome to the session plan called Funny Feet Clowns with me, Dawn. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you make your very own Funny Feet Clowns. Now, think about where you actually see clowns. Hmm, they're probably always at the circus, aren't they? <laughs> Making you all laugh. But think about what kind of clowns are you like? Happy clowns, sad clowns, angry clowns. What makes you laugh? What, what do you find funny? So, this is one that I've made for you, just to show you how I've done it. I've got some big feet here, because I think big feet on clowns is just really funny. And they're round, so you can maybe do a different shape or foot. It's completely up to you, whatever makes you laugh. I've also got a paper cup here, which I flipped upside down. I've drawn on some eyes, and also a big smiley face, because this one's a happy clown. I've also put a pom-pom on the nose, <laughs> because I find pom-pom noses and red noses quite funny, actually. <laughs> I've also got some colorful hair on both sides, which I use feathers to do. And then I've also added a hat on the top, using some round paper, and also a bottle lid. So now think about what you would like to do for your clown and watch this quick video now just to see how I did mine and then it's your turn. So have lots and lots of fun and I hope you enjoy the session. Take care everyone, bye! You'll need your paper, your paper cup, your glue, your scissors, your pen, your art resources and also your paint. For my art resources I have some feathers, a pom-pom and also a bottle lid. To start, you'll need your paper and also your paper cup. Place your paper cup upside down onto the paper, grab your pen and we're going to draw around the paper cup but leaving some space and only halfway round because at the front we're going to draw a funny feet shape. What kind of feet is your clown going to have? What makes you laugh? You should now have something that looks like this. Now take your scissors and we're going to cut around our shape. You should now have something like this. Next you'll need your paper cup and also your glue. You're now going to put your glue around the top of your cup, just like this. Next, take your cup and place it upside down onto the base of your feet, just like this, so the feet are sticking out. It should now look something like this. To make sure that nothing goes to waste, let's bring back our paper. Now draw a circle using your pen. It should look something like this. Now use your scissors to cut the circle out. You should now have a circle like this. Next you'll need your glue again. And we're now going to glue around the top of our clown. So just like this. Oh no, my clown's feet have come off. <laughs> it's only because the glue hasn't yet dried, so don't worry if that happens to you. 
Now take your circle and place it on top of the clown's head, just like this, and pat it down. It should now look something like this. It's now time to decorate your clown. So these are my art resources. I've got feathers and a pom-pom. You'll now need your glue again. I'm now putting some glue on the side of my cup. I'm now sticking my feathers to it to make hair for my clown. I'm now doing the same thing to the other side. Ta-da! My clown now has hair! <laughs> Now it's time to paint on the eyes. And now I'm going to give him a big smile because he's a happy clown. He looks so happy, doesn't he? And I love his rainbow hair. I'm now going to put some glue on one side of my pom-pom. This is going to be my clown's nose. And on it goes, just like that. Here's my bottle lid. I'm now going to take my glue and glue all around the bottom of it, just like this. This now goes on the top of my clown's head, making a little hat. Ta-da! And that's it, there's my clown. I hope you have lots of fun making your very own clown. And why not give yours a name? Bye clown, see you later. Take care everyone, bye!